Watch as I turn this barren strip of land in my city from this into this amazing airport, parking garage, and terminal slash train station. Let's get right into it. Now, this is where it all begins, as you can see. We've got some areas marked out, and, uh, well, here's uh, the before shot of the, the previous shot you saw. And uh, right now, I don't know what to do with this big open area. Uh, we'll see if I figure it out by the end of the episode, but who knows. So we're going to start way over here, because this is where I'm going to begin at. Uh, this road will connect up, because this goes to the other shops over there and loops around. Um, and then it'll, the road will go this way. And right here, this little grass wall thing. I want this to be a fence. And right here, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to this in a second actually. Right here, uh, this is going to be the road going this way. Turning left. And then turning left again. And this will be a big parking garage. Because, you know, you got to park somewhere. Park the cars. Uh, this will be a big sidewalk. And then there will be a little garden section right along. You know, kind of hiding this thing. Because <clears throat> you want to hide the big parking structures. Don't want them to look all ugly. <clears throat> uh, this will be a dual fence right here. right One right here and one right here. Uh, probably some gardens, other, you know, junk in here. Just to hide it. And then, right here. This, going all the way over here. I need to fix this fence, by the way. I you messed up a little bit. But this will be the start of train tracks. This might even zoom in a little, get pushed back in here a little more. But this will be where the train is parked at. Or uh, stationed at, not parked. And then it'll go this way. Uh, wish I could do a little speed up. Uh, I'll go this way. And then my plan... It's probably just going to be train tracks going to nothing for now. But if I get along to it, it'll go this way and then go all along the city and then loop back into there. So that way it's like a metro station because that's what it's meant to be. It's not meant to be like a freight line, but it's meant to be like a passenger line, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going to try hurrying up before it gets too dark. Um, going to have some walking paths that lead actually to this terminal. Which will be the train station and the airport terminal. This will be, it's not going to be down here, but this will be a sky bridge type. Not sky bridge. It's that thing that connects to the plane. And this will be the runway. I am going to extend it probably, you need know, chunk loaders. Probably about to, honestly, where about that chunk is glitched at right there. And then go all the way down here. Now, it's not going to make sense IRL wise because <clears throat> I am limited to. Uh, being in survival and basically freehanding all this that you're about to see. So, because I hate using creative, that's the problem. So, it's not going to look too, like, specific to IRL, but as long as it looks good, that's all that matters in the end, I think. And, ooh, double five. Uh, let's start by building this parking garage because, well, it's going to be the easiest thing because that's just going to be, uh, you have one layer, then you have the rest. So, we're going to start on this side, all this roads. Maybe start on the fence. I don't know just yet. But enjoy this quick little time lapse. It'll only be like 30 seconds. And enjoy. You know what that means? Fish!
so that took longer than expected, but here it is. I know it doesn't look too impressive from the outside, but lots of bushes and such later. And, um, well, there's no cars in it, as you can see. Uh, gonna keep it straight. Probably never will be, because... Uh, that's time I don't want to invest in this thing, really. So I'll let some of the other good old Scarians here add some stuff to it, if they do, please. But, this is the type of build where it's like, okay, this should take, like, not that many resources. Spoiler, look at all those shulkers. And, uh, maybe a couple hours. Uh, four hours later, um, of total work time. Let's put it into this. So, uh, I started at, um, noon about, and it's currently, uh, midnight, so... Uh, yeah, granted there was a lot of breaks in between. Not the point, though. So, there's a giant parking garage. <clears throat> uh, I did build the streets. Didn't really record them because didn't really see a reason to. But, there's a good little parking garage. Uh, gonna add the sidewalks next, probably. And then, next up on the chopping block. I know, you're what, you're I know what you're thinking. Probably should do the, um, the sidewalks leading up to it. But nope, we're gonna start. We're just gonna build this part right here. Uh, this part being the <clears throat> main uh, train station airport combo. And uh, we might even add a bus station somewhere near here if I can fit it in anywhere. That's going to be top priority though. Trains and planes are going to be the main things. But that's going to be started right here. Um, I do have a build palette in mind. It's either going to be orange or a blue build palette. You're about to find out in a second because, uh, spoiler alert, even right now, oops, turn and face it. Even right now, I don't even know what the build palette's going to be. However, all I do know is it's going to look good in the end. Trust me. And we're not going to do a time lapse for this, really. We're just going to do... Well, I'm going to build a chunk, bleh, build a section, and then we're going to see how good it looks. Also, I did fix the fence right here, so... Now it actually uh, looks not terrible. Uh, do need to fix this over here, though. I don't like this too much. But, let's get started on this. Uh, how am I going to do it exactly no idea yet so might do some uh, peeking on the internet and see what looks good and take some inspiration from there which you should always be doing by the way if you ever free build granted I don't always do it so I'm a hypocrite but that's not the point this time I am gonna do it so follow um, what should I call myself I am the supreme leader of city building and you shall follow my advice to the T now then I'll meet you guys later. So now it's the next morning, uh, in real life that is, and I decided I found out a palette. I wanted an orange, or more orange palette. So we have, uh, this will be the floors probably, most likely, or walkways. So orange glazed terracotta, waxed copper, uh, stripped acacia logs, don't know why that was hard to get out, orange terracotta, uh, regular, not glazed, terracotta, uh, polished granite and, uh, regular granite, which, uh, I forgot to lay out right here. Uh, oops, that's more, where the hell is it? There it is. Regular granite. Boink. And dripstone. The dripstone's kind of a last minute add. Uh, maybe it'll work out, maybe not. I don't know. So it might not even appear in here, but just in case it does, well, then there's the dripstone right there. Might even add a few more blocks if I can figure out another, like, good looking orange block to fit in here. And might even add some yellows too, or, or reds, to really get a contrast. So, this is basically basic color theory. So we got the lighters, lights on this side, and slowly going up to the darkers. These two could be swapped, should be swapped, I mean. But, not the point. So, it's a C. What I can do with this, and uh, to remind you guys, if I can go into form mode, this is the layout, that's the runway, we're going to ignore this for now. That's going to be a fence right there. But, here's the runway, that's going to be like the little connecting to the plane thing and this is the main build so we're gonna see what we can do with this right here so here's the progress we have so far uh now there's a few things that i want to be uh just think of what i'm doing exactly first off we're doing a bit of layering up front so right now it's three layers as you can see might add a little more who knows but and we're also um preparing for a gradient not color gradient or like a texturing gradient I guess so right now as you see we have these starting and ending and mis miscellaneous orders and then slowly as we go up we'll get darker and darker with the coloration now uh, I should I might add some dripstones here and there but 
if I did dripstones, then they should have been the bottom layer, I think. Not the point, though. We also have windows outlined and uh, one big entrance, as well as another little mini entrance. This is going to be for the trains only, I imagine. And over here, a little bit bigger because it's for the airport. So I imagine more baggage and stuff would be going through here. And uh, over here, this would be more like uh, small carry-on things because this is like a train that like takes you around the city and not really a um, big freight train or cross-country train, if that makes sense. So let's get started on the actual base build now. Uh, the front's the main thing that will actually be like really decorated like this. This side, this side will be too a little bit. And uh, same thing with maybe, probably not over here because there's nowhere to really decorate it. But let's just get started on this. At least this big square structure is going to be first. Over here, uh, you'll see what I have planned for it. Alright, so let me show you where we're at with this lovely, lovely build. Ooh, come on lag, stop it. Um, as you can see, got the grant, the smooth granite, granite. Uh, terracotta, uh, acacia logs, stripped version, and orange terracotta. Uh, Discord, be quiet. Um, we have obviously in a color gradient. I did it like this because I thought it looked a little nicer compared to having it like slow. I wanted it to like slowly trickle into each other. That's that's why I did it like this. And uh, Discord, shut the fuck up. And we got <clears throat> it all along here. And over here, I did it a little differently. We are going to have windows over here um, that are going to be showing like the airstrip over here a little bit later. This is going to be the sky bridge like I already explained. And uh, ooh, I have one minute to record this. And uh, let's see. Uh, obviously, there's no of the orange or other vlog or block types. Those are going to be added in a bit because I ran out of blocks, believe it or not, because this is a giant place. <clears throat> and I need to get a little more blockage going on. Uh, let's see. Over here, I'm not going to do this wall just yet, because, well, one, I want the floor added first, so I know exactly about where everything's going to be at, because this might not, well, it's going to be forced to be here, but that's not the point. point is, we're getting close to done. The roof's going to be flat, and also, uh, these pillar things are going to move way over here, closer, and also be lowered to a three to make, like, an actual slant for a roof. thought it was really silly that it wasn't like that already, but now... Now uh, that's been said, let's get on with it. And this is the progress I've made, including on the back wall right here. So I'm going to start up here. Pillars. Uh, originally I was just going to tear these ones. Well, I started tearing this one down. This one needs to go back up. I started tearing these down. And I thought, you know what? I can do a nicer roof design if I have, you know, two uh, pillar sections holding it up. So this is going to be like a little walkway in between a little area down here so it's under the uh, roof but um, over here the main event we have nice now a uh, grain of salt i don't do texturing like this often so it's not too great but i think it looks pretty pretty good and the general consensus i got from the people who saw it said it looked pretty good so here's where we're at i could have added red sand but i couldn't well find any of that and i started I was basically done with the wall by the time I remembered I could have used it. So, oh well. Um, getting the floor cleared off now. So I can start on the floor next, probably. Um, I'm going to be using for the floor, by the way. <clears throat> Orange terracotta. And uh, dripstone, mainly. And it might add some yellows in, too. Also, for the windows. Well, I think this might be a good idea, but I'm going to go. Hear me out. Sunset coloration. So, yellow panes. Going into orange cat slowly, and then brown panes close to the top, so it'll, it'll be like a nice little transition. Hopefully it'll look nice, if not, then, well, we live and we learn, as I say. As they say, not I, I never say that. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Um, for the glazed terracotta, I'm going to do it as an outline, probably mainly, and then for the actual middle parts, we'll see what we'll do. But I don't want it to be overpowering with the orange terracotta. And we might even do some like actual mural designs with that stuff. Because I don't really do that often. And I think that would look nice. But anyway, so far I'm liking the progress I am making on this thing. And uh, oh, over here. Uh, you'll notice I didn't. Uh, I am going to add windows once again to that. But over here, I think I want like. There'll be a pillar right here maybe. But I want like a giant window right here. <clears throat> Granted, it's facing nothing right now, and probably always will be, 
But it's like the thought of having this be like a giant window. So that way, like, if you're standing here waiting for the train, you can be like, oh, look, it's uh, dirt and stone and a little bit of a hole and some bushes. But yeah, that's what it's going to be like. That's going to be the plan. Will it be the sunset pattern? Maybe not. I don't know just yet. But it's up to the fate once again to decide. Actually, now that I'm looking at that, now that I say sunset, if this works out, then I'm thinking like a big yellow like area right there in the middle fall with some oranges all around and then browns on the outskirts i think that would look cool if i can get that to work out but first let's just jump in to the floor design it'll probably be done by the time i show you guys it and the, the little overhang thing right there the roof by the way is just gonna be basic and flat because well uh once again pointy tower not good near airplane uh, we found a, and like I say that, never mind. You can probably guess, decipher what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, also the dripstone out here. I am going to make probably dripstone edging around all of these. And then, uh, ooh, I forgot an entrance zoom right here. And uh, have like the main walkway be something else. But let's move on with the video, shall we? So now then, you can tell I've made a lot of progress. So let's just go on, right on through it. So... These are going to be slowly turning into the the blue oxidized version. Wanted to put them up now though. Didn't want to bother waiting because why do that when you can just throw them up already and let the build change as you go. So these are all going to be blue to highlight this roof part. So it'll be this lighter blue going into this darker blue. So the lights once again will be going up. And also have these little fence posts to be like, I don't know, just to add a little more depth. Why not? And uh, we also have the path here. Oh, and the floor. Here, I'll, I'll show up the interior floor first. Um, as you can see, we went for a little outline type thing like this. With uh, Keep in mind, there will be rooms in here. Or different like sections. So it is going to be broken up a little more. And there's going to be stuff on top of it. So it's not going to be as like all terrible and blank as it is. But I think it looks pretty nice. We have an, this is going to be the train section. This is the airport section right here. Train section, we have... We're gonna have these walled off right here. And then it's gonna flow on into this. This is gonna be the train uh, standing platform. Think like how Japan does it, if you're looking for something. Uh, there's gonna be a window over there. Probably a big giant glass mural window, I'm imagining. Uh, that's not gonna be a standing side, cause, well, that's uh, like not too great to stand on that side, cause there's nothing over there even. And uh, yes, the window is gonna be facing dirt and stone because uh, well, I am probably not going to terraform that, <laughs> that's why. Uh, unless if I get really bored, then I might. But uh, here we have two little walkways, this so uh, you can stand here and watch the trains go by. Uh, and also section off the garden right there. Uh, there's going to be another path, like, jutting off and going to the right in a minute. kind of forgot about that little one right there. But this is going to be, like, for the line queue right here. So that there's, like, a long lane for the train, and you can stand outside and you know, chill outside the terminal area. Now, I want to get this across at the terminal a tiny bit more. Granted, the giant airstrip that's going to be here in a second should be pretty obvious. Same with the train. But uh, I want some fancier arches slash windows right here, I think. So there's going to be an arch right here, definitely. And I don't know what I'm going to do right here. It's yeah, probably a giant window, to be honest. But we're going to have something on these two type things for sure. Uh, as for this pathway, uh, it goes to the parking lot. Uh, I made it really bright because I feel like I want a palm trees. I want like a nice tropical vibe. Like you were to go on vacation or something, and uh, you were to have good times. So uh, when you walk along this path, you know good times are ahead of you. Not this way. If you're going this way, then bad times are ahead of you. Cause you have to go back to your job. But um, yeah, for now, good times are ahead of us. So. Let's get the good times again going on this build and sleep as well because I do not like the dark and it is very dangerous in this mob pit at this point, not really a terminal. So you might be asking, Betel, why are you on top of the parking garage? Well, because you guys needed a good view of the amount of work I just did on this. Behold, okay. Uh, the path unfortunately had to be needed, tilted up a little bit, otherwise I'd have to tear a lot of this out. But that's not the point. So we have a path going into three, se two separate 
entrance is. Third one's over there. That's where the trains are come out. We'll get to those in a second though. First, let's just show off the path. Real simple palette. Yeah. All these are wax, so all these are gonna become. Damn it! All these are gonna become the blue thing though. Uh, this color for this color, not that color. And we got the orange glazed terracotta. And I thought that this looked really nice. It's a nice, cool color. I tried to use the orange too, but it was way too like demanding, and it would take away from that. But and we got some light lights right here. Didn't think trapdoors really fit, so I didn't add any. But moving on. Uh, you obviously walk down here. Carrying your baggage and stuff, a nice easy pathway to go. Rolling over to here. Once again, right here, if I wanted to dead center with that, it would have had to do some buffoonery over here, but eh, it doesn't look too bad at least. Um, also, I'm gonna free camp this. Uh, also, you can cross the street, go over here. Other uh, parking garage entrance is right there. Thank you, text message. Um, <laughs> ignore all that. I'm throwing my phone away. <clears throat> but I'm gonna F1 mode for this one now the high stakes action shot i did this by accident but if you see there that looks like an a it's meaning airport perhaps which uh maybe noticing there's not really an airport here but we are clearing the land well by r i mean it is cleared so literally all this is just burning black top down and white lines and maybe adding a jet plane if i feel like it probably will not to be honest because this has already been one hell of an episode. Honestly, that parking garage could have been its own thing, and this could have been its own thing, but I like a snazzy thumbnail, guys. But unfortunately, there's not gonna be any, like, I am gonna do all of the fences and stuff uh, for the gardens, because there's gonna be a big garden right here, like I said. Um, I'm not gonna start the train tracks this episode, because that'll probably be the next episode's project, doing all the train tracks, because I do have an epic plan for that trust me stay tuned for that one but back to these real fast uh i made an a by accident in this arch thing and uh, once again keep in mind all these stairs will be dark blue so it'll help go in with that also got the two park two walkways and over here i tried making a t but it looks more like an i or like a flexing long-necked man doing like a squat now that i look at it really hard cannot see that now so neither can you and that's what that is. It's supposed to be a T though. So that's going to be the train section. And then finally over here. Uh, low clearance. So this might have to change a little bit. Probably cut off these two right here. And move the chapters up. But we have a bell type thing. Because you know. Train goes ding 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 ding. Like that. Uh, it's also mirrored on this side. Uh, well it's almost mirrored. There's no trap doors. And to add it off. We have a bell right there. That's because I felt like it. Because I thought it looked a little... It looks a little funny now because it looks like it's like a tiny little thimble bell or a gong. I don't know what those are called really. I think it's in a clock tower. I think they're just called big bells. Um, but yeah, I'm real proud of how these arches went. I just went ahead and covered it up. As for the roof, it's just it's just leftover <clears throat> polished and sight from that, to be honest. And as for in here, finally, uh, I'm, pro I'm done with this thing for this episode because I'm sick of looking at this, to be honest, at the granite and glass. But... All we really have to do in here is just add a couple supporting pillars and add a glass mural on this side. Once again, that'll probably be in the next coming episodes because this is already a mega project. This is at least probably like, you know, I'd say 15,000, 20,000 blocks and really expensive blocks at that. <clears throat> but finally, we're going to be getting on to the last thing, which is building one last fence right here and building the airstrip. And might be marking out some garden sections. I'll go right here too. These realistically will probably just be like bushes. And like the center will just be gray stone. Cause, or maybe not gray stone. But it'll all just be like bushes and such. Because when you're flying. Well, let me phrase that. When you're flying, you'll see it. Uh, air quotes. Because you're not going to be literally flying on a plane. But when you're down here, you can't really even see back there. So I don't think it matters too much. But let's get on with that, shall we? Well, people, I am pleased to announce that minus a fence, we are basic and bushes and gardening. We are technically done. Oh, yeah, I have a special skin on right now. I, I know. Try to try to try not to get in the the hard eyes just yet. Uh, that's the keyword just yet. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. But for now, we got 
the air the terminal i'm just gonna call it the terminal or i'll call it something eventually other than that because that's a lame name and a build this good at least by my standards needs a epic name if you ask me make sure you drop some in the comments below if you have any ideas on what to call this but over here we have uh, a massive black strip with nothing on it just kidding this is actually the airport runway and it is very if the, uh, this doesn't give you an example it is very big so there's I'm not gonna bother with the realistic line depictions probably because well I don't care and uh, then it's like a small detail oh, well in the phrase I'll add like arrows saying like uh, launch this way land this way would you actually want to land this way because wouldn't you be like going like, like that oh well not the point should have had it like pointing this way if anything but or make it more like a cube not the point though because it's done minus adding like i said the fence right here which uh, i have a very simple thing to do with that but for now uh let's know what this skin's actually doing on my body because while i'm making this fence i'm gonna let you guys uh watch a little something that I was told a clip, because, spoiler alert, I have no idea what's about to happen to me, so this is a 100% legitimate live betel reaction. Enjoy. Um, okay, first off, oh my god, because you guys might not recognize this, but this is like one of my earlier episodes, and uh, this is, just that face was there, but, um, this is... Strange. I didn't see he got. Uh, hang on. Oh my God, someone's there. I didn't see any shorts on them, or sunglasses. Last time I was here. Okay. Um. Turns out this person did this. Um. And she said I should take a picture of me next to my statue. So, um. Uh, I he's got some abs and pecs, but I I still think I got Atlas beat personally, and the uh, and the uh, muscle lifting department. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'll put up a picture of myself, maybe. Uh, definitely not Photoshop. It's totally me, IRL, right there. Uh, also, we have a Unikitty. I forgot her name. Totally not. Uh, she's also going to be posing as a... She has that gross head on her, though. That's unfortunately ruining her... Mar docking down her beauty points a little bit. But it's okay, because I'm so hot that I, I'm raising all the levels around me tenfold. I mean, I'm so hot here to put the shades on. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, next clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were telling me to move, because they, they needed to get the, the full scale of my beauty. What else cute doing here? Uh, they had to get the full scale of my beauty in front of the statue, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, any Olympic, uh, poses I need to do? Mr. Olympia. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's the, uh, that's where all the strong people in the world go, uh, like me and Atlas back there. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so what this actually was is tomorrow, you guys probably won't see this, or it'll be like a clip in the next episode, but tomorrow, or maybe it's on standalone if it's long enough or funny enough, I'm going to be doing a pufferfish parkour, uh, parkour type thing. I'm not going to yell at them just yet. So it's going to be... That's what this actually actually is. I'm an I'm a walking advertisement, according to Died back there, who's flying off. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go check it out real fast. Um, this is the monstrosity. There's also dolphins, which um, I hate dolphins and pufferfish, so I'm very scared of what this actually is. So be prepared to see that tomorrow, or my next video maybe. But for now, let's go back. And get this thing done. This thing being the airport fence, shall we? And with this, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fence now around said airport. Um, now this, what's going for? It's a little bit of a barbed wire effect because um, I mean, idiots try, you know, climb out the bars. And they're they're getting poked. That's all I'm gonna be saying. Um, unfortunately, budget cuts meant. Um, I didn't have enough money to actually complete said barbed wire all the way, but we'll deal with that next time. Because for now, I've done. I threw my shovel on the floor. For now, though, I've done way too much work on this episode. Because honestly, this could be its own standalone thing. Just this part right here. But it's not. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what's your favorite of the three things we did today. Four things, arguably. Kind of past. What's today? In the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Much love from Beolog. Signing out. Thank you for watching.